Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fly in your game and to enable and disable this using a custom console command that you can make. So this is just going to be a quick, simple one where it's just going to be simply you can fly around like you would in any kind of game where it's like creative mode or free roam or sandbox or anything like that and we're going to enable this with a console command. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first step we're going to take is to create our axis mapping to do this. So for that we're going to go to edit up here in the top left and then project settings and then we're going to go straight down to input down here and we're going to open up the axes mappings here and hit the little plus arrow there. What I'm going to name this is simply fly or fly up down I'll call it but you can enter whatever you want this is just the controls for our flying up and down. And so now to fly up I'm going to want this to be the space bar so I'll just press the little drop down menu here just touch type in space bar and leave it as that and I'm getting another one to go down so hit the plus axis mapping next to fly up down and again press on this one is to go down so I want this to be left shift so we're using space to go up left shift to go down and for whichever one you have to go down so left shift for me we're going to change the scale from one to minus one and what this basically does is going to be the opposite of what we want it to do so if we tell space to go up it's going to know that left shift does the opposite of that so once you've done that you can close that right away and next we're going to open up the third person character so open that up straight away and we're not going to really do anything in here other than select the character movement type flying up here and we can mess about with the max fly speed and breaking deceleration flying and all that later on but we're just going to tick can fly and I am also just going to set these values now as I know what I want them to be so on the max fly speed to be 1200 the breaking deceleration flying to be 1000 and you can mess about with this however you want this doesn't make it work or not work this just changes how it feels so the fly speed is obviously how fast you're going to be by default and the braking deceleration flying is basically how glidey you'll be in the air so if you leave it at zero you when you stop moving you will just glide either up forward down anything like that but if we put it up like this it will basically stop moving as soon as you stop inputting the movement which is what i want so again mess about with this however you like with however you would like it to be so you can compile and close that as that's all we need to do in there and then we're going to open up the level blueprint. So go to blueprints up at the top here and open level blueprint here. And this is where we're going to create our custom event. And our custom event is going to be our console command. So to do that, we right click and just search for add custom event. Get that one there. Name this whatever you want. So I want to call this just simply fly like that. And out of this, we're going to cast to our character. So to do that, we're going to get all actors of class like that with the actor class obviously being the character we have. For me, that's the third person character, but it could be first or whatever you've named it. And then out of the out actors, we're going to get a copy like this. And this is essentially our casting again, so we can then access everything we have in the third person character. So what we want to access is out of this, we're going to get the character movement. And this is so that we can enable the flying. So get character movement should be at the very bottom down here. And out of character movement, we're going to set movement mode. So again, setting it to flying and not. So set movement mode there. Then before we connect these like this out of the get all acts of class, so we're going to come out of get all acts of class and get a flip flop. And now I'm doing this so that if I type in fly console command again, it will stop flying and it will go to walk. So you can have two different commands for this if you want, one for flying, one for walking, but I'm just going to do it in here so I can easily toggle between the two values like that. So then A off of the flip flop will go into the set movement mode of flying, so new movement mode, new movement mode of flying, and then B is going to go into another one, so we'll come out of character movement set movement mode again this one like I say goes into B and now we're going to set this to walking again so now we have that set up like that so now when we type in our custom console command it's going to enable flying or walking so we can save and close that and actually we do need to do one more thing in third person character which is actually create our controls flying so if we go back into third person character what we're going to do here is like I say create our controls and that's up and down so to do that we're going to right click and get the axis mapping we made earlier which I called fly up slash down the axis events there like so out of the axis value we're going to just go into a add movement input like so that's obviously going in there like that again scale value so that's all plugged in there and then we're going to right click and just get up vector like so and just plug that into the world direction there and that should be it done for the movement input of flying up and down so again, we can compile, minimize. Now if we hit play to test, if we move around like normal, press space, that jumps, shift, does nothing. This works perfectly. So then if we go into our console command, which for me is the tilde button, I think it is. I'll put a picture on screen now. That's what it is by default for me. You might have changed this or something. So 
So press that to open your console command. And then if I just type in CE for custom event fly, as that's what I've named it, we have that there. So now if we press enter, that's enable that console command. So now if I press space, I'm going up. If I hold shift, I'm going down. And I can just move about like this. So you can see I'm moving a lot faster and I'm just basically flying around. So now I'm still gliding a bit like that. So if I open up the character again, select character movement, search for flying. If I change the braking deceleration flying from 1000 to 2000, this should be a lot stronger for the stopping. So if I minimize this, hit play again, CE fly, I can now fly. If I hold space and shift, I go up and down like this and I can move about as you normally would. And so again, I said we can toggle it on and off using the same one. If I go back into console command CE fly, we're now falling again as we've gone back into the walking movement mode. So this is all working perfectly. We're walking, CE fly, we're flying, space goes up, left shift goes down, and we can move about like normal. And then CE fly again, we're now walking again back to the normal mo movement modes. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've created our own custom console command so we can fly and stop flying on the same one and this works perfectly so we can use space and left shift to go up and down like so. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.